Barcelona, little by little, seemed to be smiling at luck. After the return of all the players from the international break for the national teams, there are no injuries to the team for the first time in Barcelona, and even more than that, the players are physically prepared to face Las Palmas in the Spanish league, trying to reduce the gap with Real Madrid. Barcelona's recent training sessions witnessed the presence of all players on the team, except for the injured. But despite everyone's preparation and more than 10 days remaining to face Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League, it is possible that we will see some changes in today's lineup with the aim of making the players more comfortable, but this is not certain, because Las Palmas is a strong team, and Barcelona urgently wants the three points, to continue to be runner-up, and to push for first place, and Xavi does not have many options in the current squad to make several changes. But it is possible to see Lewandowski and Gundogan resting today, in addition to Orojo, and Christensen, who is suffering from some discomfort. In Barcelona's recent training, it was also seen that many young players joined, from the academy, including Mikel Vale, the 19-year-old Senegalese player. Mikel Vale has become a key player in the Senegal first team, and he has contributed to the team and the national team with four goals so far, in addition to his physical strength. And his speed, he is likely to play today as a substitute for Ronald Orojo. Xavi and the Barcelona players are thinking highly of this match and appreciating it, as they want to win, but their thinking is greater about the Champions League match, but it seems that at this moment the team seems to be in good condition, and winning against Las Palmas will not increase their enthusiasm and passion more. In addition to the return of both Pedri and Frankie Ding to face Paris Saint-Germain, it seems that soon, as we mentioned earlier, Pedri was seen training on the grass, and New says that Frankie will also soon join the training. In addition to the return of fan favourite Pablo Garvey, if Barcelona manages to reach the Champions League final, we may see Garvey in the squad with the substitutes. Ansu Fati is heading towards the end of his season-long loan with Brighton and Hove Albion, and his future looks as uncertain as ever. The forward had hoped to resurrect his career in the Premier League this season, but that hasn't happened quite yet. There's still time of course, but it's fast running out. Fati has made 23 appearances in all competitions for the Seagulls, scoring four goals and picking up an assist along the way. However, his season has once again been disrupted by injury. Fati missed over two months at the turn of the year in another frustrating setback. Diario Sport reckoned that financial reasons mean that the 21-year-old could head out on loan again next year and that Brighton would be keen to have him if Roberto De Zerbi remains. De Zerbi has absolute faith in Fati and has praised him regularly but is also in demand this summer as a host of top clubs look set to change managers. Yet the report reckons that De Zerbi would be delighted to take Ansu with him if he did move clubs. The Italian has of course been linked with Barca which means he could get a second chance at the club although it's worth noting such talk has cooled recently. Ultimately it could be that Barcelona's finances dictate Fati's next move. A decent offer would surely be considered, while another loan move may be the option that suits all parties right now. What do you think Barca should do with Fati next season? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. While Barcelona star Lamine Yamal stressed the difficulty of facing Paris Saint-Germain in the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals. Yamal said, in statements to the international network DAZN, when you reach the quarterfinals in the Champions League, you will find that all competitors are strong. He added, against Paris Saint-Germain, we will play in the same way we played against Napoli, and we will strive to qualify for the next round. Regarding how to stop Kylian Mbappe and Ousmane Dembele, he said, we will play as always, in the same way we are accustomed to in all matches. If he scores against Paris, Lamine Yamal will become the youngest player in the history of the Champions League to score in the knockout the stages. Officials decided to offer one of the team's defensive line players for sale to resolve a thorny administrative crisis. Radio Catalunya revealed that the financial problems facing Barcelona regarding the registration of its new players next summer may prompt the club's management to offer Inigo Martinez for sale, one year after he joined the team from Athletic Bilbao. She explained, in addition to the new players who may arrive at the club, the situations of Harvey, Bald, Vita Roque and Inigo must also be settled. She pointed out that Barcelona restricted Brazilian Vita Roque after Harvey suffered a cruciate ligament tear and was absent for the end of the season. 
she pointed out, as for Inigo Martinez, Barcelona restricted him for only one season, even though his contract with Barcelona extended for two seasons. She continued, the administrative and financial problem may push Barcelona to sell Martinez to benefit financially, because he will be a free player after only one year. She continued her report that Barcelona has an abundance in the defence line with the presence of Count, Christensen, Ronald Orojo, and the promising player Kobachi, but Inigo Martinez has an exceptional advantage, which is that he is a left-handed defender. Radio Catalunya concluded, Barcelona also has two defensive linemen on loan to other clubs, namely Lenglet and Eric Garcia. A Spanish Barcelona press fans demanded that a member of the La Mecha Academy return to the ranks of the Catalan club during the coming period. The matter concerns the Dutch star Xavi Simons, the Leipzig player loaned from Paris Saint-Germain, who spent many years in the La Mecha Academy. Simons left Barcelona in the summer of 2019 and joined Paris Saint-Germain, which loaned him to Leipzig last summer noting that he played a season with PSV Eindhoven. Simon shined in the PSV Eindhoven shirt, and also performed well with Leipzig, which makes him coveted by the major teams in Europe. The Catalan newspaper Sport reported that Alejandro Bald, the injured Barcelona fullback, posted on his Instagram account a photo from inside the Civitas Metropolitano Stadium, after Barca's victory over Atletico Madrid, 3-0, Simons responded to Baldi's photo with the phrase, back soon, with a tiger symbol, and although everything indicates that the comment concerns Baldi and the issue of his recovery from injury, this comment was accompanied by responses from many Barcelona fans demanding Simons to return to Barcelona, according to the newspaper. While Spanish press reports confirmed today, Tuesday, that Barcelona's board of directors decided to grant Deco, the club's sporting director, the powers of the new coach, Xavi Hernandez, the Blagrana coach, announced his departure from the club at the end of the current season. According to the Spanish newspaper Sport, the Barcelona administration had previously set the date for selecting the new coach at the end of March or the beginning of April, before deciding to freeze this file at least until the end of participation in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. The newspaper pointed out that postponing the selection of the new coach for an additional month means disrupting planning for the new season during this period. For this reason, Barcelona's management decided to continue planning for the new season, while giving Deco the authority to make decisions on behalf of the new coach, she stated that Deco, according to this authority, will have the right to choose the deals for the next season and determine those who leave in the summer. She confirmed that Deco has already begun exercising these powers by negotiating the continuity of João Félix and João Cancelo with Barcelona next season. Barcelona. Atletico Madrid is seeking to exploit Barcelona's financial crisis and buy out the remaining term of Lewandowski's contract, which extends until the end of next season with the possibility of extending it for another season. The newspaper close to Barcelona added that the Spanish club may agree to dispense with the services of the Polish striker if it receives a good financial offer in the transfer market. Lewandowski joined Barcelona, coming from Bayern Munich, in the summer of 2022. According to the Spanish newspaper Sport, Atletico is planning to exploit Barcelona's desire to buy Felix's contract and is requesting a swap deal that includes Polish striker Robert Lewandowski. Atletico will work to include Lewandowski in exchange for reducing the sale price of Felix, or even contract with the Polish star in exchange for giving up the Portuguese player for free to Barca. Atletico wants to take advantage of the fact that many Barcelona officials believe that Leva will not be useful to the club if he continues for another season, because his salary will rise and he will become one of the highest in the team next season.